In this video I'm going to show the shortest 4 Grandmaster game I have ever played. This is 4 Grandmasters fixed card game which is being played with my subscribers. Settings, Alliance is on, Balance Blitz dice rolls in 60 seconds per turn. And judging by the setup I've got, it seems that it mostly makes the sense for me to go for Australia. Another place where I had some troops was North America but obviously I had to fewer troops in there and nobody would have wanted to let me hold a big continent anyways. Then I had some troops in Asia as well, but honestly everyone knows that it's just impossible to hold it. So that I'm going to do is to move these troops towards Australia, as this is the continent I will be going for. The light blue player was so sweet to move his troops out from it. So now I'm totally sure that Australia will be mine without anyone else contesting me for it. The light blue player sent me the alliance request and I obviously accepted it. He showed me his friendliness by helping me out to get Australia and that's really appreciated. So for now I'm going to be his ally and then I will see how it goes. As after all he might not be able to get any continent for himself. I mean it seems the line player is the only player who will be guaranteed to hold the continent as well as me. So I'm going to see what the line player's plans will be, whether he will want to team up with me to destroy someone or not. And if he allies, then if he is going to target only one person, or will he want to target both of the opponents at once. Or maybe the line player will just decide to be a turtling player, who knows. But what I would like the most is that we would be targeting both of the opponents at once, so we would be having the advantage by being the only ones who hold continents getting extra troops. Well, the light blue player is my ally who helped me out to get Australia, so I think I would feel kinda bad targeting him. So ideally for me I think it would be great that I would use my troops to attacking the dark blue player, while I'm the light blue player. But with the line player moving his troops out from Africa, I guess that the line player made the alliance with light blue, and if so, then I just guess it will make the most sense to team up with them on dark blue. As it would be the safest choice for me to end up in a 3 player situation. Or I mean I could potentially decide to team with dark blue on light blue and lime, but then it would equalize all of our chances, but on the other hand I would probably still be the safest player to end up in top 3 situation being in Australia and having only one border to guard. But the fastest way would still be to team up on the weakest player, so this is why I took down a lot of smaller armies of dark blue, but as you saw I took the 3 troops territory of the light blue player as well. Because what I want that me and Lime as the Australian and South American players would be having a superior advantage over the both of the blues by being the only players who hold continents. As after all when we end up in a 3 player situation, we would need to start targeting the 3rd player anyways. And looking to the troops counter and the whole situation on the board, it would make the most sense for me and Lime to team up on the survive blue, but not for me or Lime to be enemies with each other when trying to team up with the survive quite weaker blue, unless it would make sense the diplomacy wise. But what I'm trying to say is that would be potentially the fastest way to conclude the game without prolonging it. So at the end you saw what I did, I ended up sending the alliance request for the line player which he accepted. And what I do now is trying to encourage the line player to attack both of the blues by wiping out a lot of their territories by myself as well, and then sending a lot of attack requests to the line player to attack them as well. I keep sending him a lot of thumbs up emojis as well, so he would be even more encouraged attacking them, as I really try to make our alliance look to be very serious that the line player could even potentially take it even too seriously. As remember the honey trap strategy guys, you pretend to be as the best friend to your ally just for him at the end not to realize what he ended up over attacking the opponents giving you the game. So by seeing that I might be close to winning the game, this round I especially encourage the line player to attack our opponents. After he wiped their territories out from Asia, I sent him the attack requests to attack them once again, followed by thumbs up to make him trust me even more. And at the end I really think that he really ended up over attacking both of my opponents. As you can see both of them are at 5 cards and low on troops, so it could basically doesn't cost for me anything, or I could even end up having more troops than I had before. 
But in any case the majority of the Lime's troops are blocked in South America anyways, so it should give me a huge advantage even without getting the most favorable blitz rolls ever as well. And yeah guys, I think the Lime player has really given me away the game. And both of the Blues targeting each other even made it easier. And wow, I'm even trading in two sets at once, ending up having twice as troops as him. I think I'm just going to use the Asian endgame strategy just for fun. But yeah, this is why at the crucial moments you don't want to have any of your bigger armies blocked, as there's always a possibility that your opponent seeing the opportunity could end up taking another player out and using one of the endgame strategies even if he's weaker than you, as he's going to get a lot of troops recompensated by holding big continents for a turn. Well, in this case the line player was lucky enough to have a set at 3 cards, but that doesn't really change the fact that I won as after I took both of the blues out, I ended up being so much stronger than him getting all of those cards and trading in multiple sets. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, then I would recommend watching some of these out as well.